Paradise is gone. It's been five years since the deadliest wildfire in California history, the campfire. The fire took everything. It began as just a spark in the small town of Paradise, but soon exploded. Trapping residents as flames engulfed entire homes and neighborhoods. There are embers blowing under my car. It's a devastation California has been spending the year since working to prevent. This is where we get to see the magic of AI. Now, inside this operations center at Cal Fire's Southern California headquarters, revolutionary AI technology is being used to spot fires and then stop them before they can spread too far. Cal Fire Staff Chief of Intelligence Philip Salig showed us how it works. As soon as that smoke is visible within that camera frame and we get that notification to dispatch resources. The AI has been trained to scan a network of more than a thousand cameras set up in fire prone areas across the state and alert Cal Fire of any potential smoke. Yes, this is smoke. This is not smoke. So going through all of that data, it took a little while. One of the coolest things about this technology is that it can spot smoke that's pretty much impossible to see with the human eye. Like here, it's indicating there's smoke, but we can't see it. Two of the cameras using this AI are located here, high up in the Palomar Mountain in East San Diego. The cameras like the ones up here are scanning 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and can see out some 70 miles. Cal Fire says already there's been several times that the AI has been able to spot a fire and alert them before they've gotten any 911 calls. We've had a success, a fire starting in the middle of the night. No one called 911. We got resources there. We put it out and we still never received one 911 call. So who knows how big that fire would have gotten. But that doesn't mean this technology is a replacement for real people. For more than 100 years, watchtowers here at Booker Hill have been used as a fire lookout. Cuyamaca Peak is actually covered now, too. Yeah. This one still is today. Volunteers Ron and Ernie spend hours monitoring for signs of smoke. What do you guys make of that? What do you make of AI now supplementing your job? It's another tool. I don't think you're ever going to replace at least not for a while, the human factor. Like all technology, it isn't perfect, but in the three months since the AI has been implemented statewide, Cal Fire says it's been invaluable. How significant is this? It, it's huge. This is very significant. It could be three o'clock in the afternoon. It could be one o'clock in the morning. This system doesn't go to sleep. It's persistent. Last month, Time Magazine named the technology one of its 2023 Inventions of the Year, honoring CAL FIRE and their partners at UC San Diego and Alert California. The hope is the AI will be used beyond California to places like Maui, still recovering from the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. We've spoken with people in Australia, we've sp spoken with people in Hawaii to help teach them more about what a network of cameras like ours can do. There's no way of knowing exactly how many mega fires this AI may help prevent, but Cal Fire says stopping just one is a huge success. It seems here like this technology could really be saving lives. Sure, absolutely. Those fires that you never hear about, you never read about, you don't see on TV, they're not on the headlines, they're not the campfire. That's the value of this system because it could have prevented a fire like that. NBC correspondent Liz Kreutz joins us now. Liz, very cool story. Thank you for this. I mean, obviously, this is still in its early stages, but do we think that Ron and Ernie are no longer going to be needed eventually? I mean, it, you know, can the artificial intelligence really do the job of human lookouts? Yeah, I mean, they say the technology is not perfect yet, Jake. For instance, it might see something, some dust, and maybe think it's smoke, although that's part of what they're training it not to do. But Cal Fire truly says that this has been very successful for them in just the few months that they've started using it. In fact, a chief told me tonight that just in the month of October, there were 40 times where the AI technology alerted Cal Fire of smoke prior to any 911 calls being logged into their dispatch center. So some really promising technology here, Jake. Very promising. Liz Kreutz for us tonight. Thank you, Liz. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.